Example 5.3. In this example, we show the inner workings of a dehumidifier, which has a moist air, which is a mixture of dry air and water vapor. It enters the dehumidifier at a rate of 600 pounds mass per hour. The liquid water drains out from the dehumidifier at a rate of three pounds mass per hour. We need to determine the mass flow rate of the dry air and the water leaving the dehumidifier. Notice that this is a mass conservation case for control volume. Therefore, the first step is to draw the control volume. The control volume is given by this boundary. Care has to be taken when drawing the control volume. For this particular case, notice that the control volume is not crossing the areas of the coil because we want to maintain the two different type of fluids separate from each other. In that case, the mass flow rate at four is equal to mass flow rate at 0.5, which is the flow going through the coils. In this example, the two fluids, the one from the coils and the one from the dehumidifier, they do not mix. Therefore, they have separate control volumes. In the control volume that we're interested in, we have three control surfaces, one going in and two leaving the control volume. We start the analysis with the RTT for mass, which gives us the continuity for a control volume. In this case, we have a steady flow. Therefore, this term is going to be equal to zero. The second term gets reduced to the summation of the mass flow rates since the velocity at each one of the control surfaces is constant. So this term becomes simply the summation of the mass flow rates at each one of the control surfaces. We have in this case three control surfaces. So we write one, two, and three. And we have mass flow rate going in, mass flow rate two, and mass flow rate three. And they have to be equal to zero. Mass flow rate one is negative because it's going into the system. And mass flow rate two and three are equal, are positive since they're going out of the system. The information that we know is that the mass flow rate going in is equal to 600 pounds mass per hour. We need to calculate the mass living the system at exit two. So we write simply mass flow rate 0.2 and then mass flow rate at 0.3 is equal to three pounds mass per hour. And that has to be equal to zero. Therefore, we could find out that the mass flow rate at 0.2 is equal to 597 pounds mass per hour. Please note once again that because the flow rate for the control volume of the coils, they are independent to the one of the dehumidifier, we could say that the mass flow rate at 0.4 is equal to the mass flow rate at 0.5 since they are completely different control volumes.